When you think of the RSPB, the first bird to pop into your head probably isn't a vulture. But we've actually been working to help these maligned, magnificent birds since way back in 1999. Their story is almost unimaginable. In the early 1990s, Asia's white-rumped vultures were probably the most numerous large bird of prey in the world. Just a decade later, they were almost gone, wiped out by a simple drug. In all, more than 40 million white-rumped, slender-billed and long-billed vultures have now been lost. And these three species might have gone altogether if it hadn't been for the intervention of the RSPB and other conservationists. In Nepal, the work has been so successful that their breeding programme can now be wound down and this final release of captive birds, although not the end of the story, is an important milestone and a real cause for celebration. I'm proud the RSPB has been a part of this important work and that we've been able to make such a difference in helping to save Nepal's vultures. We're here in Nepal today because of the release of the last captive birds. This has been a fantastic programme which has bred the birds and because this environment is safe enough, we can now release them all back into the environment. Asian vultures have undergone an absolutely catastrophic decline in the last 20 years almost completely wiped out by the veterinary drug diclofenac. White rumped vulture, for example, declined by 99.9% in just 15 years. So one of the key actions once the diclofenac problem had been recognised, apart from removing diclofenac from the environment and getting drug bans, was to establish a breeding programme to secure these critically endangered species. The breeding centre was established in 2008 in uh, Nepal. At that time we brought the chicks from a different part of the country and nearly 40 of them kept there for the breeding purpose. We were successful uh, in doing the captive breeding in the breeding centre. the site should be free of diclofenac or other harmful drugs. Our result is very encouraging. Gradually, the population of vulture is now increasing. This is not time to be more satisfied with our present results. Conservation is an ongoing business, never ending. We have to keep on monitoring the population to help conserving this critically endangered species. I think working parallelly with the government and with communities on the ground led to this success in Nepal. Uh, vultures are very important for ecologically, religiously, uh, culturally and economically because uh, it is related to the uh, wildlife tourism. It's been such an exciting morning seeing those birds come out one by one and, and joining the wild birds at the cattle carcass. The work here in Nepal has 
demonstrated that by removing diclofenac, we really can get recovering vulture populations. It's that combination of commitment from government together with local work to remove the main threat of veterinary drugs that's been successful and that is needed on a wider scale and in more places across India and other areas in, in South Asia. Yeah.